Just how much is the Stranger Things cast worth? Well, you might be surprised by that answer. After all, Stranger Things is Netflix's biggest and best show. In the overall sense, Squid Games only has one season, and fans have leapt to it in every way. Season 4 has everyone talking, and Season 5 is set to end the story of Hawkins and the Upside Down for good. However, another thing to note here is that the cast of the show have made a lot of money from the series, and thus their net worths are much more than you likely suspect. Number 10. Caleb McLaughlin $3 million Now, Before he was known as Lucas Sinclair, Caleb McLaughlin began his acting career on the Broadway stage when he played young Simba in The Lion King. He trained as a dancer at the Harlem School of the Arts as well. McLaughlin even won an NAACP Image Award for Stranger Things in 2018, proving his worth in many ways and how beloved he is in certain circles. He's worth about $3 million, and given his importance in the cast, that is likely to grow by the time that Stranger Things is done. Number 9. Natalia Dyer $4 million Next up is Natalia Dyer, who plays Nancy Wheeler. Her first major role was on Hannah Montana the movie alongside Miley Cyrus. But even with that, she didn't really break out until she got into her Stranger Things role with a passion. She's even a part of another Netflix thing in the form of Velvet Buzzsaw, where she starred as Coco. In terms of net worth, she is valued at $4 million. And when season 5 comes out, that could go up as she continues to showcase her acting skills as she'll be cast in more productions. Number 8. Joe Keery $4 million as Steve Harrington, Joe Keery has gotten a lot of love from fans, and a funny thing to note is that he wasn't supposed to be that big at first, but Keery obviously won the showrunners over. His hair is now iconic, and it's hard not to like him as Steve, because he just portrays him so well. Due to his staying power, his net worth of $4 million is well deserved. He's done other shows, to be clear, but Stranger Things is his bedrock. Though he did do a Stranger Things parody for Taco Bell via the Nacho Fries commercials, and well, that was something. The show wouldn't be the same without Steve, so it's nice to hear that he's making a lot. Number 7. Charlie Heaton $4 million While he might be worth $4 million now, Charlie Heaton certainly didn't start out that way when he began on Stranger Things. He was more of a musician before going into acting, and after a while, his net worth was only about $250,000. But his time as Jonathan Byers has endeared himself not just to fans, but to people in the industry, and thus his net worth shot up by millions. Like the others, he's got a bright future ahead of him, and his money will reflect that. Number 6. Noah Schnapp $4 million Most people were first introduced to Noah via Stranger Things, which you can say about a lot of the cast. Noah, who was 12 years old when he was cast in the show, plays Will Byers who is abducted in the pilot and taken to the Upside Down. But he's done more than just that. His film roles include Roger Donovan in Steven Spielberg's historical drama of Bridge of Spies and the voice of Charlie Brown in the animated Peanuts movie. Yep, this kid is a voice for Charlie Brown. I mean, come on, how many others can say that? Plus, he has been with Stranger Things the whole time, and that has earned him a nice $4 million net worth, with more on the way. Number 5. Finn Wolfhard $4 million Finn Wolfhard is one of the key parts of Stranger Things, and his $4 million net worth is proof of his abilities. After all, thanks to Stranger Things, he's gotten other roles in some major productions, such as being one of the Losers Club in the It films, both of which were major successes, and the Kid Ensemble was praised for their superior acting work in both films. He's one of the young rising stars in Hollywood, and it's not hard to see why. Number 4. Gaten Matarazzo $5 million Gaten Matarazzo is one of the two iconic looks on Stranger Things thanks to his hair and teeth. His personality also helps bring the story to life in many major ways, which makes him a fan favorite character and thus he's worth $5 million, including raking in $5 million for Stranger Things Season 3 and Season 4 is likely to match or surpass that. Gaten's biggest source of income are sponsorships with major companies like Verizon Fios and Old Navy. But what might surprise you though is that Matarazzo didn't start with regular acting, he did Broadway. Number 3. David Harbour $6 – million. David Harbour honestly has been in Hollywood for some time, but people now speak his name with reverence thanks to Stranger Things, and his bank accounts are very grateful for that. His role as Chief Hopper has made him a fan favorite, and the mystery of where he is drives the upcoming Season 4 in many ways. Harbour began his professional acting career with a role in the Broadway revival of The Rainmaker. 
His career on TV began with a supporting role in an episode of the TV series Law & Order in 1999. He made his film debut with a minor role in the 2004 American biopic Kinsey. The film was an average success commercially. In 2005, he appeared in three films, Confess, Brokeback Mountain, and War of the Worlds. In 2008, he appeared in the James Bond film Quantum of Solace, where he played one of the supporting roles. He has also appeared on several TV shows over the course of his career. Some of them are The Newsroom, Manhattan, and State of Affairs. And of course, he has been in recent movies like the reboot of Hellboy and the Black Widow film. So yeah, his star is very much on the rise thanks to Stranger Things, and fans are no doubt going to rejoice when he's reunited with Joyce and Eleven. We hope. Number 2. Millie Bobby Brown $10 million While you could argue that there's a lot of breakout stars in Stranger Things, most people immediately think of Millie Bobby Brown, who rose to fame by being Eleven on the show. Brown is valued at $10 million in recent estimations. However, with recent successes like Enola Holmes and Godzilla vs. Kong, plus all the other roles that she's really been contracted for, you can bet that her net worth is going to be rising in the next couple of years outside of Stranger Things. Millie has her own makeup brand and is associated with various other companies like Samsung, even having a commercial proclaiming her as part of Hashtag Team Galaxy. Now, while much of the cast, both young and old, are great, Millie is one of the main stars thanks to her role, and she works hard at that role, which is why she has gotten nominations for her acting skills. And her star power has led to her getting roles in many major films, and likely will get her future TV roles once Stranger Things is done. And this doesn't even mention the fact that she'll have at least two more seasons of Stranger Things to make bank off of, and further prove her star power to the world. So yeah, she'll be just fine. Number 1. Winona Ryder – $18 million Winona Ryder was the biggest name in the cast when Stranger Things was born, and most importantly of all, she's had quite the acting career. One that has spawned many genres, years, and roles before she settled down as the fan-favorite mother of the Byers family. Winona Ryder made her acting debut in the 1986 comedy Lucas, but it was her role as goth teenager Lydia Dietz in Tim Burton's Beetlejuice that earned her both critical and commercial recognition. Since then, she continued her career with other major movies like Heather's, Burton's Edward Scissorhands, and Francis Ford Coppola's Gothic Romance and Bram Stoker's Dracula. While playing diverse roles, Winona has started winning various awards and recognitions, like a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress and an Academy Award nomination in the same category for her role in Scorsese's The Age of Innocence in 1993. Stranger Things helped her reassert her status as a top actress, and she's now worth $18 million and she is worth every penny in the eyes of fans. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the net worth of the Stranger Things cast and how their roles affect their payouts? Do you think that some of them should be worth more? What do you hope to see from these characters in the final parts of Season 4 and then Season 5? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on the channel.